lives were disrupted by animal mutations in the form of gigantic man-eating creatures. These creatures stood 25 feet tall and weighed over 10,000 pounds. They had evidently evolved from the Jurassic Age and laid dormant for millions of years and were somehow revived. Researchers theorized that this rebirth was triggered by early testing of atomic bombs and radioactive fallout. This was a peace-loving community, so weapons allowed on the island were no match against the gigantic carnivorous creatures. With no time to spare, the island leaders quickly commissioned their scientists and engineers to come up with a solution to eliminate these deadly man-eaters. This was to be no easy task, considering the limited resources available on the island. At one time, a sunken Navy transport ship was discovered offshore in shallow waters. In the hull, numerous old military vehicles were found. This discovery would prove to be just what was needed. Plans were drawn, and the construction began. Realizing that they needed something that possessed superior strength, the engineers began the task of constructing two power monsters. The metal marbles began to take shape, and after long hours and hard work, Megasaurus and Transaurus were born. These mechanical beasts stood over three stories tall and weighed 50,000 pounds. 1,000 feet of veins and arteries fed their mechanical hearts, pumping at 50 gallons per minute. Their blood pressure exceeded 2,500 pounds per square inch, giving them five tons of crushing force in each of their mammoth claws. They could lift 30,000 pounds to their gigantic mouths, their massive jaws attaining 15,000 pounds of biting force. To ensure total destruction, each power monster was equipped with 200,000 BTUs of burning power. Once tested, they were then sent out to search for and destroy the ugly mutations before any further islanders were killed. Having been built on tank chassis, they were not only power monsters, but also all-terrain vehicles, giving them the ability to go anywhere. They had no problem going deep into the brush and finding their prey. Once their enemy was discovered, they would transform and then attack, destroying the menacing mutations. It wasn't long until the creatures were all destroyed and the power monster's work was done. Many years later, a passing freighter anchored nearby the island and its crew and captain went ashore. The captain discovered the rusting power monsters in the woods. He was so intrigued by these machines that he traded for them and brought them back to the United States. After months of careful restoration, he put them on tour so that everyone could see these gigantic mechanical marbles. To demonstrate their awesome power without endangering anyone, he decided to have them eat and destroy junk cars. So now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brace yourself for Megasaurus! Here, 
actually extends here. And when that flame comes out of Megasaurus' mouth, you can feel the heat, can you? Hard to feel it. I'll tell you what, what was one car? That was two. Pulling it out. Look at that thing, just eating it away. I think he's got a bigger appetite than my ex-girlfriend. Oh, ho! Oh, he's got to go back to school next week. Oh, he's got to 